Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to class. Uh, <laughs> my screen changed. Oh, well. Um, today, we're going to be working uh, with weights um, to just do some kind of upper body mostly, but also the legs, right? Also, as we work on strengthening um, some of our muscles and as a result, some of our poses. Um, and the reason I like to work with weights uh, is that um, the way I teach, um, I really want us to focus on stability, right? Stability and strength and mobility uh, almost before flexibility. And there's a, there's a lot we could talk about there, but, um, but I really like the idea of stability and strength, especially the muscles that are around the joints, right? Hip joints, uh, shoulder joints, things like that. Having said that, if you are working with an injury, right? Shoulder injury, hip injury, whatever injury, low back, I want you to keep the weights to an absolute minimum or just drop them all together and just do the moves um, as we uh, start to explore um, what we can do and, and what we're you know gonna pass on for the day. So with that, uh, let's sit well. And I would have a light weight near you. I have the three pound weights nearby because we're gonna use those while seated. Um, so if you have them, bring them nearer. And then find your nice, beautiful long spine. Maybe the shoulders come up to the ears and then they squeeze back and down a couple of times, right? Just to loosen things up. And then start to tap into your breath, maybe close your eyes. And so as you inhale, let the chest rise, let the lungs fill. And as you exhale, let all that go, maybe draw the low belly in towards spine. And inhaling. And exhaling. Couple more, just like that. Inhale. And let go. And last one. And let that go. And let the eyes open, Good. the hands out to your sides. Inhale, take the arms up and exhale right to your heart. And then interlace those hands and press it out as you tuck through your chin, tuck through your belly, feel your whole front body get small, right? Get kind of tight and compact. And then inhale and reach the arms up. Again, wrist or shoulder issues, separate the hands. And then imagine getting taller still. Keep your ears near your arms and just see if you can lift the chest. So notice I'm not moving even from the shoulder joints or from the head. I'm moving from the chest to try to open up that front body and then bring the arms back to neutral release and let go. Good. One more just like that. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart, interlace, maybe interlace those fingers a different way, and then press it out and really curl, really tuck your chin, really round out through your back, and then inhale and reach up, and then see if the chest can be the primary mover here as the chest lifts up, as the shoulder blades draw in, as we lengthen through the side body, and then take the arms back to neutral and release that down. Whew, good, and roll that out. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, one hand down to the mat, the other arm reaches over. So um, one of the things I love about working with weights is that in yoga, we work with body weight all the time, right? So you don't necessarily need um, hand weights when you can use the weight of your own body to strengthen. So we're going to start that here. We've got this nice side bend. 
this hand that's on the floor maybe come to fingertips and see how that feels. If you feel fine here, maybe extend the arm out. Okay, so now we're using body weight for strength. Turn that palm up, reach both arms up. Exhale the other side, pressing one hand down, reaching the other one over, getting a nice good form first, right? So we wanna make sure that shoulder is rolled open. And then that opposite hand, maybe we come to fingertips. Still okay, maybe we just reach it out. Whew, and then turn the palm up and reach up. Exhale, both arms down, roll those back. Take both hands behind, interlace those hands and just press the knuckles down either toward the floor or on the floor behind you, opening up and stretching through the chest. Whew. And release that, shake all that out. So the first move we're gonna do is an internal external rotation of the shoulders. And if we had no weight at all, right? And you can do this to start. The elbows are gonna stay at the side body and we're gonna open the arms out to the side without letting the elbows move away from side body. And then we're just gonna bring them in, right? So out and in, and when you squeeze out, feel what's happening with the back body. So that's the move, grab, I'm gonna grab three pound weights, keeping it nice and easy this morning. Elbows go to the side body. The forearms are parallel with the floor. And then I'm gonna squeeze them out and then bring them back to center. Good, and out. I want you to pause at the out and then bring them in. Good, squeeze out, keep the chest tall. Don't let the chest sink. Good, breathe, that's four. Good, one more here, five. Hold here and then just turn the palms up. You can let the fingers go and uh, work with the biceps, the uh, arm, upper arm of muscles, one set of them anyway, right? As we isometrically work with the biceps. Whew. And breathe, and you'll notice, right? These are just little baby three pound weights, and I'm feeling that already. Good. Hold on to the weights and just squeeze up and then down to the floor. So we are starting easy. We're going to up these weights in a little while um, if you want. Good. So you're just squeezing to the top. Good. And squeeze just one more here. Easy stuff to start. And then stop halfway. And then just go to your shoulders and halfway. Shoulders, halfway. Good, breathe, just two more right here, shoulders, and then halfway, last one, Whew. and let those babies come down, roll that out. Now I'm doing three pounds, but you could have one pound, you can have no pounds, right? Again, using body weight is super effective. So grab those weights again, uh, uh, lots of caution here, shoulder injuries or neck stuff, right? So you're going to just let those elbows, those uh, weights rest on your shoulders and drop the elbows. From here, you're going to push straight up and breathe and then turn the palms forward and take them back down to the level of the shoulders. So the weight doesn't come down, they come more to cactus arms. Press it up, turn the palms in, lower down to your shoulders. Good, we're gonna do four more of those. Take it up, turn them out, come halfway down, press them up, turn them in and lower and reach up. Turn partway, reach up, turn and down. We got one left, I think, maybe two. Take it up, turn partway down. Watch for that tension in the neck, shoulders, turn. And lower, let's do one more just in case. Reach it up, turn, take it down part way. Reach it up, turn, and lower all the way. Set those weights down for now. Just want you to roll out those shoulders. Please be mindful if your body is going, nope, not liking the weights there. Just drop the weights, do the, do the move, right? We're still getting strength here. All right, and then grab those weights one more time, still sticking with the low weights to start, and then we're gonna stretch out a little bit. The hands are coming kind of down toward the side, 
the chest gets really tall. And we're going to just take, if I'm mirroring here, just the left hand. And we're going to go out to the side, the elbows bent, and back down. Good. Two. See if you can pause at the top. Three. Yep. Working with these shoulders. Four. And five. Same arm. Take it forward. Reach forward and lift. No higher than the shoulder. And two. Three. Yep. Work in the front deltoid. Four. And five. And lower. Release that side. Same thing the other side. The elbow stays soft. Reach out. And down. Good. Two. Three. Woo. And four. Don't forget to pause at the top. And five. And lower. Bring that hand in front. Lift up. One. Two. So front and side deltoid muscles. Three. All wrapping around those shoulders. Four. And five and lower. Good. We're going to do both hands five times, both, both ways. Here we go. So out and down. And two and three. Yep, I know. Squeeze it back. Four and five. Good. Take it forward. One. It's actually harder when you're seated too, because you don't have all that momentum and that back to pull in. Four, good. One more hold, five and down. Good job, everybody. Set those aside for now. Take the right arm out, bring it across your body and stretch that shoulder. Whew. Try to keep the shoulder down, right? We're just stretching off to the side. Big deep breath, and then take the same arm up and overhead. Try not to tuck your head or your chin, right? Try to keep that pretty level. We're stretching the back of this arm. Uh, the other hand, just assisting here a little bit. And release that, go to the other side, take it across. And breathe. And take it up. And bend it back behind you just to stretch the tricep a little bit. Good. And release that. Roll all of that out. And let's come up to table pose. Table pose. So if you were with me last class, which would have been Sunday, you know that we did a lot of core work, right? A lot of stuff for our bellies. We're going to bring some of that in today. So you're in table pose. Press the right leg out. Hone in through the belly and then lift that leg. And hold here for a moment. Now you're looking mostly down at your mat, right? What I'll see is people kind of look up and they put all that strain on their neck. So you're looking down at the mat. The hips are pretty level. The left arm goes out, find your breath. So listen up, you're gonna bring your left elbow to that left hip and you're gonna bring the right knee to the right elbow. So you're not crossing, you're keeping both um, limbs to the side. So just for five, squeeze, squeeze it in and four. And five, stretch it out. I want you to lower the toes back and just lift the arm higher. Maybe you feel this in your core. You're still looking down at your mat. And then lower it down. Lower your right knee, stretch it back, everybody. Just stretch through that whole top body. And come on up. Press the left leg back, nice tone to the belly. Lift the leg, fire up your glute. Take the left or the right arm out. So same thing on this side, you're keeping to the sides. Bring the knee in and the elbow back and reach. Good, this is two and three and four. And five, reach, drop the toes of your left 
Lift the right arm a little more. And breathe. And lower that down. Whew. Good. From here, plant those hands. Downward facing dog, everyone. Once you're in down dog, let's pedal those feet. Find your breath. Think about that upper body. Think about the muscles of the upper back and the upper arms wrapping around those shoulders, protecting the joint. And then walk your hands all the way back. All the way, all the way. Bend your knees. Take your hands to your knees and come on up to standing. If you've got a blanket or something on your mat, go ahead and just move it out of the way. Won't need it for now. That's a bit of a mess, but there we have it. And roll your shoulders. Just roll them out. And then grab your, hmm. I think we're going to get the big muscles out of the way first. So grab whichever weight you want. I have eight pounds. Maybe you have fives, maybe you have threes, maybe you have a water bottle. And then the feet are hips width apart. The shoulders roll back. This right hand, you're going to let it sit right where it is. The left hand, <clears throat> you're going to bring uh, into a bicep curl. So you're going to squeeze it in and lower it down. Now we're going to go slow on the lower down just for five. Single arm squeeze and lower. <laughs> squeeze. Good. Last one. Squeeze it up and lower it down. Let's go to the other side. Again, keeping it slow and simple for starters. And two, think about what we're working here, right? The bicep muscles at the upper arm that allows us to pick things up and curl them in, release. Drop one weight. And by the way, right, this goes without saying when we're moving these weights here, there, and everywhere, keep them close to your body. Good form, like don't ever lean forward with the weight. You want to squat, use those good leg muscles. All right, so <clears throat> the weight is in your left hand. Your right arm is out to the side. We're going to squeeze it all the way up, all the way down, halfway up, halfway down, or, or all the way down. So all the way up down, halfway, down, three, and half, and four, whew, and half, one more right here, squeeze it up, and halfway, and then take it halfway and hold. Now, try to fire up those legs just a little bit, think a little mountain pose. We are working with that bicep muscle, isometric work, there was study done, that you build more muscle by holding than you do by moving. So really cool stuff. And let go, good. Switch hands, shake that one out. Take it out to the side. Keep the elbow close to your body. Here we go, lift all the way, all the way down, halfway. That's it. And squeeze at the top and halfway. Squeeze, slow it down. Halfway, that's three. Squeeze all the way, halfway. Good, last one, squeeze. And halfway, and then take it halfway and hold. Ooh, yeah. Good, keep the tension out of the neck, the head, right? Try not to squeeze up through the shoulders. You're just holding that weight in place. Big deep breath, everyone, and let that go. Ooh, good, shake that out. Um, and we go, okay, well, really, what's this got to do with yoga? Think about it, right? We have strong arm, shoulder muscles. When we're doing plank, when we're doing downward facing dog, anything on those hands and knees, right? All of those muscles are going to help. And then when we're doing simple things like arms extended in Warrior Two or Warrior One, we have that stability right, to keep those muscles working. All right, little bit of balance work here. 
If the weight's in my left hand, my right toes are out uh, in front of me and the weight, again, bicep curl, but this time, as we lift the arm, we're gonna lift the toes. Good, two, the other hand could be either at your waist or it can be out, three, four, five. Let's see if we can do five more, what the heck? Five, four, find your balance, three, two, and one, and lower. Whoo, shake that out. I'm getting the hard star stuff out of the way early. So let's bring that bicep or that palm forward. The other foot is out. The hand can either be at your waist or out to the side. And again, we're just coordinating, right? Balance and strength. Two, three, four, five more, squeeze it in, focus, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower, shake that out. Grab your second weight, roll the shoulders back and just hold. And just kind of feel that, right? As the chest lifts, the hands are down at your sides. Your legs are active. You're getting maybe a gentle pull on the shoulders and, uh, and the neck, right? We're just stretching it out. Now, if you can, take both weights into one hand. Ooh, a little hard with these eight pounders. So I've got it on one side. And what does the body want to do when it's weighted on one side? It wants to go toward that weight. What I want you to do is pull the weight back. So we're working core. If you feel these obliques are working, they're active to keep you balanced, right? Side to side balanced. So just pause here. Find your breath. Maybe you can peel one foot off. Maybe you can lift the knee. So working with core, the body's got to work pretty hard to hold your, your torso upright and release it. Switch hands, everybody, both weights. And again, if you're not using the weights, don't worry about it. Level everything out, fire up the legs and just pause. How does it feel on this side? Can you feel you know, anything happening, it might be subtle, but it's all having to work here to keep us in that direction. And really this is working a little too, to keep us nice and straight. So just feel that when you're ready, shift into that weighted foot and lift the other. Find your focus point, breathe, and let that go. Grab both of your weights and just hang on. Now, this one I'm gonna ask you to be very cautious of, no heavy weights here. The weights stay close to your body. So we're gonna do squats here that are called suitcase squats. So imagine you're carrying two suitcases, one in each hand, and you've gotta set them down on the floor. So you're gonna squat, but you're gonna keep that chest up you go low or nod and then stand up. We're gonna do 10 of these, here we go. So squat down and then pick it up and think of all the things we have to pick up every day or set down and how do we get stronger here? We press into the floor, we reach up, we keep that torso from dropping down to the floor. That's it. I think we got four left, everyone. Four. Here we go. Squeeze up. And three. And two. Yep. And one. Well done. Drop one weight. We're almost done with the heavier weight, if you have them. So same principle. 
We're gonna do these suitcase squats again, but this time we only have one suitcase. Okay, and if you're just tuning on, tuning in, you're like, what the hell is she talking about? One suitcase. All right, the legs are evenly spaced apart. We feel good, we feel tall. Hand can be either here or out to the side. What's important is to keep this body kind of upright, right? You are leaning forward to your squat, but you don't want to over lean. So here we go. So you're gonna lean down and pick it up. And two, we're gonna do five on each side. Three, squeeze it up. Four, squeeze. Five, squeeze, switch hands. A lot of squats, a lot of leg strength. And down. And two, squeeze it up, watch the knees. Three, you don't have to go really low. Four, and five, and up, grab those weights. I know, I know, You're. we'll get to the yoga part, I promise. So roll those shoulders, take the weight in both hands, keep the elbows in, take the feet wide, and then just find a squat. Find a squat that works for you so that you can check your knees, the knees are pressing out, right? So then straighten the legs, and then go low for your squat. Slow, doesn't matter how low. And press up. Good, slow. And two, five of these. Three, four, and five. And stand, hold here. Either we're gonna do five more of those or Super mindfully, when we stand, the weight goes overhead. It's gonna be a press just like that. And then right back down, elbows stay in. Here we go. Take it down, stand first, then press. Elbows in, think chaturanga, down and up. Take it down and up. And down, Woo. one everyone, stay with it. I hope you're still there, down <laughs> and up and then release it. Woo. Set that weight aside, shake everything out. I want you to roll the shoulders, take your feet wide, come into a forward fold and just let that head drop. Stretch out the back of the neck, the back of the shoulders, and then press into one hand, maybe fingertips here, and just take the other arm out and back down. You can sweep it across, reach it out to the side and down. Good, squeeze a little twist here, four, and five, release, switch sides, reach it up, down, and two, stretch, and three, and four, good, just one more, everyone, and five, and lower, turn those toes out, hands to knees, come on up, and step it together and shake all that out. Just shake it out. And then grab your lowest weights for now. Lowest set of weights. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Go ahead. And then come into a warrior two stance, left foot forward, right foot back. Your back foot is either parallel with the short edge or slightly turned in and bend your front knee. So there's our warrior two stance, right? And you can play with going a little wider as long as you feel stability, right? You feel like you could hold this, your front knee um, in the same direction as your third toe roughly. And then just kind of feel, the weights are just resting 
and just feel your body. <laughs> what is it doing? Back glute is active. We're finding our alignment. And then just see, keep the back hand down and see what happens if we raise the front hand. Now, even with three pounds, this sustained hold is challenging for me. But don't notice that you don't want your shoulder to hike up. The shoulder is down. We're just holding the weight while holding the legs and lower that down. Good, same thing, back arm. Lift and hold. Belly is toned. We're doing isometric work here. The, the arm is not too high. If it's hard, you can lower, breathe, and then take it down. Good, listen up. <laughs> listen up, everybody. Take both arms out and then slowly lower them down. Don't forget about the legs. Good, we're doing two more. Reach up, slowly lower them. Last one, lift up and slowly lower. Whoo, good, straighten that leg, turn your toes. Let's go right to the other side. Check your back foot, make sure those toes aren't pointing backwards. First, find the pose. Use your breath, roll the shoulders, front arm lifts and lower three times and lift and hold and down. We have three sets of deltoid muscles, the front side and rear. Good, last one. See, I talk, I forget what else I'm doing. And down, lift the other hold. I don't think we lifted and lowered for three on the other side, but that's all right. And down, good, let's lift. Lower. Last one. Lower, let's do both arms for three, one. Slowly lower, use your strength and lift. Lower, last one. And lower, good, straighten those feet and just roll the shoulders out. You can always drop those weights, okay? So don't feel like you gotta hang on to them just because. All right, let's go back to the first side. The front foot points straight forward, the back foot points slightly forward or level. This time, the back hand is gonna stay down and the front elbow, the front arm is gonna rest on your thigh. So here we are, right? Nice little position here to let the weight hang and then curl at the wrists. Good, so we're working these legs the whole time, so make sure they are part of the pose. Good, and roll, forearm work, four, and five, and then curl and hold. So keep that. This top arm, again, super mindful, bring the weight to your shoulder. Some of you are gonna stay right here. Some of you are gonna extend out for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to your shoulder back to your hip and release it. Switch sides, everyone. Coming into extended side angle, right? So we're bringing that elbow, this weight back here is just hanging out. We bring the elbow to the thigh, we get a nice solid pose, and then we drop the wrist and curl it. And drop, curl it in. Belly's a little toned here. Three, and four, squeeze, and five, hold the curl, okay? So again, isometric work. The back arm's weight just goes to your shoulder. You're gonna see how that feels. You're still, if it feels okay, you feel balanced, you feel sturdy, take the arm overhead and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to your shoulder, back to your hip. Straight in those legs, Whew. and hold, and breathe. Back to the first side, I know. Hang in, everybody. Good, 
So your elbow's gonna rest again, the palm is gonna turn down, the back hand is staying down. You're gonna curl the wrist in toward your thigh and then lift. Two, yep, three, good form everybody. Four and five, just squeeze it up and hold. And then turn the palm back, face back up. Here's where the work's coming. It's gonna be on this arm and again, Maybe you drop that weight for the first couple. You're going to reach down to the floor. You're going to squeeze it up to your elbow or to your shoulder and then straight up. Back down to your shoulder. Look down at the floor. Bring it up. Take it up. Three more. Up and down. Squeeze it up. Extended side angle. This is four, feeling that front leg, I bet. And five, good, release, not the way I did. And come on forward, shake that out. Last one on this side, I promise. And then we're shaking it off of this to something else. So we've got that same angle, right? The palm goes down this time and we're gonna curl up, down, try to isolate it to the wrist. And three, curl it in, lift it up, palm is face down, four, and five, hold, and then turn that wrist around. Same thing with this back hand. You're gonna reach for the floor. You're gonna take it up to your shoulder and then straight up, back to the shoulder, back to the floor. Two, three, four, yep, and five. Good job, everybody. Take that weight up. Woo. Take those feet together, drop those weights. Woo. Roll your shoulders. I'm doing a lot of wooing this morning, partly because I put the heat on <laughs> and now it's getting really warm in here. Good, cross your arms and give yourself a hug. Find your breath. Release those arms, do it again, other side. I just can't wait any longer. I gotta turn that heat off. <sighs> Hugging yourself on the other side and release it. Whew, good, grab your weights again. I'm gonna grab my fives. You can take threes, twos, ones, nothing. The hands are going back, palms are facing back. Here's the thing roll the shoulders back. So remember we said we have a front deltoid, we have a side deltoid, we have a back deltoid, does not get used nearly enough. So pull the shoulders back, just one hand pulse back. One, two, keep the chest tall, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Release, go to the other side, right? So you're pulsing back, straight back. One, two, three, four. Chest tall. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, roll both shoulders back, both hands back. Let the weights be heavy so that the shoulders stay back and pulse for 10. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Did you guys feel that, guys and gals, right? Yeah, back shoulders and a little bit of tricep work. Now, your choice. Pick the weight that works for you because speaking of triceps, we're going to do a little bit of tricep work in a sort of high lunge, right? It's really going to be a back foot down. So if we're standing in mountain pose, you have one weight in both hands. You're going to step back with your right leg and lean forward. Roll the shoulders back, the weights, the elbows bend, and then we're going to press straight back. Two, pause at the back. Three, don't let the head drop. 
four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, whew, nine, ten, and release, step forward. Good, let the weights hang. Take a little walk around. And breathe. I love yoga. You all know I love yoga, but we have to work these bodies in all kinds of different ways, right? Cardio, weightlifting, yoga, stretching to get us a, a, a fully healthy, rounded bodies, not rounded, but you know what I mean? Well-rounded body. So good. Let's do the other side. Right foot forward, left foot back. That left foot is planted. I didn't say this on the other side, but the weight of this front foot is more in the heel than in the toe mound. Shoulders roll back, elbows come up or the hands come up, lean forward, press back. One, two, squeeze it back. Three, four, five, six, come on, seven, three left. Eight, nine, ten, and release. Good. Carefully drop those weights, everybody. Shake it out. Take your feet wide again. Lean forward and let those shoulders hang nice and deep. I don't like an unsupported forward fold, so your hands are somewhere but the shoulders are rounded and lifted up to the ears as we stretch. Good, hands to the floor, lift up. Bend your knees, come on up. Roll your shoulders. We got one more thing with the weights, I think. Well, one more thing standing with the weights. Grab your lighter weights. And I want you to come into a warrior one stance. Now, anytime we take these weights over the head, it's close and controlled. Otherwise, right? <laughs> Otherwise, we can irritate these shoulders. <laughs> so left foot forward right foot back, a really solid warrior one stance, right? That front hip rolls back, the back hip rolls forward, the glutes active. Take both weights to the front leg, both weights. And I'm just holding them there. I got my two little three pound weights, piece of cake. I'm gonna lift my front heel and lower. Good, so lift three, Four, we're just adding a little weight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower. Grab both weights. Bring both weights to your shoulders with the palms face in, right? So right here. And then lower. Squeeze in for two. Squeeze in for three and hold. One, you're right here. Otherwise, your right arm goes up. It comes back to your shoulder. The left arm goes up. Back to your shoulder, right arm. Down. Left arm. Down. They stay here or both arms go up. Be mindful. Watch where you're putting your head, your neck. Reach, warrior one. You can bring the weights together overhead and then release back to your shoulders, back down, step forward, right? Little baby weights, but yet they work. They make you work that much harder. Breathe. Good. Let's do the other side, right foot forward, left foot back. We're finding the pose first. Always, right? And breathe. And just notice how does this feel in your body? The weights are at your side. Well, 
First, let's put them on our thigh here. You're just hanging on to them. And then we're going to lift that front heel for 10. One. And it is a lift, everybody. Two. Three. Belly in. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Whoo, eight. Nine. And drop that. Grab your weights. Take both weights to your shoulders and then let them go down. Just three, two, three and hold. Maybe you stay here, left arm reaches up and down. Right arm reaches up, down. Same thing, both sides, lift the left. Lift the right, down, lift both, optional. Breathe, maybe the hands come together. You gotta finesse those weights. Good. Press the arms along those ears. Reach up. Soften the ribs in. And then lower both weights and down. Whew. And step forward. And shake that out. All right. Drop those little baby weights. We're going to do one more no weights. Okay. No weights. So you're gonna come to the front of your, well, it doesn't really, anywhere near the front of your mat. The left foot's gonna step, stay forward. The right one's gonna just step back a little and I'm on the ball mound of that back foot, okay? And then both hands are gonna kind of come into this little soft fist, one hand on top of the other. I'm gonna bend both, pretend I'm picking something up and then stand, straight legs. So bend and straight, bend down and up. Keep the hands close and up. In other words, you're not swinging those hands out way in front of you. Whew. Last one and up, good. This time I want you to see if you can hold this almost like a runner's takeoff, right? So <laughs> feel what's happening, right? That front hip and glute working hard, back leg working hard. Find your breath, keep your torso up, and release, step forward. You can do those with weight. It's just hard to keep that weight close to your body. So for this one, I wanted to keep it weightless. Switch sides. It's not a big step back, by the way. It's a shorter step. It's like doing a single leg lunge. Hands are here. Your torso's upright. Your head's not looking down, right? It's staying fairly neutral. Here we go. So squat, see if you can pick something up and up and squat. And three, good. And four and five. And then come on down and hold. Keep the torso up and breathe. You got it. We're almost done here, everybody. If you're still with me, woo -hoo! and stand up and shake that out. Woo! Who needs a gym? <sighs> Front of your mat, everybody. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Woo! Soften the knee, step back with your right leg. Lower your right knee to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up and breathe. Exhale, the hands down. Right hand stays down. Left arm reaches up. Let's just stretch that out. And lower. Plant your hands. Lift your knee. Downward facing dog. Find your breath. Step forward, left leg, lower your right knee. Inhale, reach, oh, we're on the same side. Switch, right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, take the arms up, Whew, almost missed that one. And breathe, just stretch everybody, this should feel good. Exhale, your hands down, left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. 
and release it. Lift your left knee, downward facing dog, everyone. Right to plank pose. Breathe. Lower the knees and child's pose or hero pose. And just find your breath. <sighs> That's it. Hmm. All right, so wherever you are, come on up. We're gonna have a seat for a moment. So find a comfortable way to sit and grab your strap. Wow, where'd my strap go? <laughs> it was here. Hang on, grab your strap. That's so odd. <laughs> Let me grab a strap. Oh, very strange. You know, if this was like a perfect video and nothing ever went uh, awry, <laughs> it wouldn't be my video <laughs> or my class. All right, grab your strap. If you got a super long one, we're going to stretch out those shoulders. So um, you may have to shorten it or uh, lengthen it a little bit and take that strap up over your ears, reach it back and behind. You don't have to go all the way down and up and down. <laughs> And stretch, everybody. Good. One more. And up. And then take it up and back until you find what feels like maybe a tight spot in the chest. Now watch the wrist, right? You don't want to, like, yank those wrists back. Try to keep the wrist straight. Gentle pull. Gentle, gentle pull on that strap. As you open up the tight spots, maybe you come down a little bit more. Uh, arms are relatively straight here. And then take it up Whew. and release it. Go ahead and take your strap out. Take one arm out and bring it across. Grab that arm Whew. and stretch out. You can even kind of pull side and back, right? So all through that. The, those rhomboids and trapezius muscles attach a feather into the shoulder blade, right? So it's like, oh, wow, it gets so tight. Good. So whichever arm, so if I'm mirroring here, it would be my right arm. Across, take your left arm underneath and maybe come into eagle arms and breathe. And release it. Good. Roll it out. Take the other arm out. If this were mirrored to your left arm, bring that across. Drop the shoulder. You can even roll, you know, do a little side uh, twist here. That's it. And take it center. Take that other arm underneath. See if you can find uh, any variation of eagle arms here. Deep breath. And release, roll that out. Good, take your feet to the front of your mat. Now choices, one, you're gonna grab a, a block, or two, you're gonna grab a weight. That is up to you. We're gonna do a little bit of core work with a twist. Um, so you can do a block, and you would be here and doing the block, or you're gonna be with the weight close to your body, whoo, here. So dig your heels in and lean back so that you feel this belly work and then squeeze that belly in and then twist side. If you have a weight, it stays close and does not go low. Good, breathe. Four, side body work, five, Six, seven, and nine, and 10. Hold that weight, everybody, or your block, center of your chest. 
You're gonna lean back and you're gonna pull forward. Watch your backs here. Lean back and forward, back, Woo, feet are lifting and forward, two more. Lean back, forward, last one. And forward, keep your weight or your block and come on down to the floor. Oh. Just pause here for a second. Right, so it's amazing that we could have done the same class, the same uh, sequence and everything, and your body would probably not feel as tired as it maybe feels now uh, having used some weights along with it. Good, so breathe here. And then take your weight or your block or nothing. The block will just give you feedback. Your weight is going to sit down below your hip bones, but you want to make sure. I mean, if it's in the belly, it's just barely at the low belly. You do want to be careful about where that weight is. And I keep my hands on it the whole time. Plant your feet and press the hips up. Good. And then down. Squeeze up, down, press up, good. And three, back down, four, and five. Let's do five more right here. Five, four, bridge work, three, two, and one, hold if you can. If you need to take the weight off, do that. If you need to come down, do that. We're going to pulse for 20. I know, 20. All right, so maybe you count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and lower down everybody, Whew. and breathe. <clears throat> Last one here, again, the weight is very optional. So the elbows coming close, and here's what this is gonna look like. As you lift up, you're gonna take the arms up. They don't go over your nose, they're staying kind of at those rib level below the breast, right? And then down the elbows stay in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, yep, five more. Six, seven. I know you're smiling. Nine and 10 and lower. Very carefully set that weight to your side. <sighs> Press into your feet. Flatten your back to the floor. Flatten it all the way down. We did this on Sunday. If you missed Sunday's class, go back and take a look at it. Bend your left knee to 90. Try to keep the back on the floor. Lift your right knee to 90. Lower your left foot slow. Lower your right foot slow. Lift your right. So what we're trying to not do is rock the pelvis, right? And then lower your right, lower your left. Here we go, left side, lift. And then lift the right, lower the left. Try not to lose your back against the floor. And then your right, 90, your left, lower your right, you got it. Lower your left, good job. Last one here. The left leg stays straight. The right leg goes long. Just pause for a second. And then 
flatten your back to the floor, lift your right leg. Stamp your left foot, take your right foot out and back in, out to the side. The toes are staying up. Try to see if you can keep the pelvis neutral and notice if your knee is wobbling or a lot. Good, last one, bring it forward, press into your back, lower that leg, and then bend the knee, other side, the left leg goes straight. The right foot stamps, you're lifting the left leg just four or five inches. Squeeze through the belly and bring your back toward the floor, and then take it out, in, two, in, Three, four, go slow, and five, and then lower the leg, and then bend both knees. Take the right leg up to the sky, and let's come to a figure four here. Deep breath. Good, when you're ready, if you're ready, bring those knees in a little bit closer, but this time try to keep a little bit of space behind the lower back. So we're resting on that sacrum. We're not flattening here, we're stretching that glute muscle, the hip muscle. <clears throat> and then cross your knee over your knee Separate the heels away from each other. Maybe you reach and grab the feet or the, the ankles and draw those feet apart. See if you can keep a tiny space in the low back. Just see. <clears throat> and release it. Take the left leg up to the sky. Figure four on this side. Draw the knees to the chest, but keep your back from going flat. <clears throat> nice deep breath, everybody. And then cross your knee over your knee and just separate the heels, right? So maybe that's right where you are or you grab those um, feet or ankles or shins. Just try to keep the hips from rounding all the way up into a flat back. Just see if you can pull them back a little bit. And release, release those legs. Take the left leg straight up, interlace your hands behind your knee and straighten the right leg. Press the back of your thigh into your hands. And breathe maybe a couple of circles with that ankle, maybe one direction and then the other. And then bend the knee, draw deep into chest. Uh, that foot goes to the floor. Bring your right knee to your chest. Interlace those hands, those fingers behind the knee or really behind the thigh. Then straighten the left leg. Nice little stretch here. Good. Maybe circle that ankle. Circle the other way. Bring the knee into chest. Bend both knees, both feet to the floor. We are almost done, I promise. The arms go out to cactus. And then think about making little snow angels. The arms slide overhead and then they squeeze down toward your side. And reach. Squeeze them in, slide them long. Good, last one, squeeze. 
and lengthen and then take the arms back to cactus and just look over at your right elbow. And center, look over your left elbow. Center, release those hands, release the legs. And let's find Shavasana, a well-deserved, well-earned Shavasana, everyone. And as you come into Shavasana and find your way to stillness, maybe smile a little bit at being here today for showing up in your best way possible. Allow the shoulders to soften down, allow the belly to soften. Let go of any tension in your jaw. Go softer still. And as you're ready, just bend your knees and allow your feet to come to the floor. Just pause here. Feel your spine, feel the hips on the floor, your feet, your shoulders, your head on the floor. And then draw your knees to your chest. Allow the back to round, allow yourself to stretch. And then let the knees come to one side or the other. And as you're ready, press on up. And just find a seat. Bring your hands to your heart. 
bow to your own inner strength, inner wisdom, inner voice, inner teacher. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that class with the weights. <clears throat>